Now I talk about the importance of having your business set up the right way all the time. But what most people don't understand is as your company grows and as you become successful, as you're hitting six and even seven figures, that company setup needs to change and evolve. And oftentimes business owners who are doing well miss out on a lot of opportunities or they're held back because their business setup has not grown with them. So I wanna share a couple of tips with you to make sure that your business is set up the right way and it continues to be set up the right way as you become more successful. So my name is Saluto Uba and I'm a lawyer and tax strategist that works with six-figure companies to help them protect their business and their bank. So what am I talking about? Um, obviously, as you're starting your company, you need to get set up the right way. You obviously want to work with a professional, like an attorney, a good accountant, bookkeeper, people like that to help you make sure that everything is structured so the money is on point and the legal is on point. But what a lot of successful business owners don't understand is that as your company grows, your business structure and setup also needs to grow with them. So at our law firm, we see a lot of business owners who started off as a single member LLC or a single member company, and which was great, but a lot of the things that you need in place for a single member company won't necessarily protect you as your company is hitting six figures, seven figures, as you're starting to bring on employees or you're starting to work with different, more sophisticated vendors. So one of the first things we wanna do is have you do a regular review and audit of the state of your business, the state of your company. What does this look like? This looks like uh, you doing an evaluation of how many owners do you have? Who can control what? Who has authority to operate? Things like that. Uh, really slow down companies because as you're growing, something as simple as does one of the owners have the authority to set up a bank account for the business by themselves without having to have everybody come down and sign off? This might sound insignificant, but things like this really slow down and delay your growth because they stop you from being able to take advantage of situations and move immediately and move quickly. Uh, so if, if you're in the 21st century like I am, you know that opportunities will pop up immediately and you have to be able to take action. So this is just a few examples of things from a practical standpoint that can really slow you down. From a legal standpoint, has your business grown with you in the way that makes sense for your company? When it was just you and you didn't necessarily need and have a lot of help, it was cool having a basic structure, having that operating agreement, having those internal documents that actually keep you protected. As the company is growing, as you're bringing on more employees, as you're working with different vendors and consultants, do you have things like non-disclosure agreements set in place so you can actually protect your secret information? Do you have intellectual property like trademarks and that type of protection so you can actually own your brand? Do you have different vendor contracts and agreements with the folks that you're working with on a regular basis? Is everybody indemnified and protected because they're set up the right way as proper partners in your company? These are things that not only make it difficult for you to progress to the next level, but God forbid, should something happen, these things can expose you to a potential lawsuit that slows down your company and can kill all of, you, all of your momentum. So these are some of the things from a legal standpoint that's important to think through so you're set up properly throughout the growth of your business. Now lastly, from a tax standpoint, how is your tax assessment? Did you create your LLC one time and you never look back at it? Because what worked for you when it was just you and the company was coming off the ground and you were just making a few tens of thousands of dollars does not necessarily make sense as you're hitting six figure years and potentially seven figure years. The company and the business needs to evolve. Your structure might need to move from just a regular sole proprietorship being taxed as a sole proprietorship to now being taxed as an S corporation. You might even get to a point where it might make sense to be taxed as a C corporation. Who knows, all of that stuff comes into place and it's part of making sure that your business is set up the right way. So uh, I'm not trying to overwhelm you, but I just want you to realize that there's no one and done uh, structure. You need help, you need people on your team who can advise you and show you that, hey, you're moving into the next level of business, you're hitting a certain level of success, so you have to shift and evolve your setup so you can actually protect what you've built. Just in vain with that, uh, we've created a resource called the Power Team Playbook. 
which is a guide and a game plan for you as a business owner that can show you where you're at and show you the next steps that you need to take to keep your business moving forward and help you grow to the next level. If you wanna be the one of the first people to get it, it is a free resource and it's a free guide for you. And the way that you get it is signing up for the wait list and making sure that you're one of the first people that knows about it. And once again, the Power Team Playbook is going to change the game. We're so excited about it because it's going to give you some of the strategy and the guidance that you're looking for as you're growing and you know that your company needs to evolve. So hit that wait list and we can't wait to get it out to you. You're going to hear a lot more about it. Um, but until then, until next time, peace.